Hello everyone. So I have um, a stack of books that I have been setting off to the side for this particular video um, because I would like to do an unhaul. I do a lot of book hauls, a monthly book haul. I get quite a few books every single month. Um, equal to if not more than the amount of books that I read each month. We're working on breaking that habit, but I just like buying books, okay? Um, so, I have uh, quite a few books here. Uh, most of them I have read. Um, that's my one thing. It's very hard for me to get rid of a book once I've bought it, like once I've bought it, unless um, I've read it, because I always think to myself like, oh, but what if I like it? So, um, the books that I have not read, most of them I at least, I tried. I tried and I thought, you know, it's not for me. So why don't we just jump right into it? Um, one more disclaimer, actually. Um, I'm not saying any of these books are necessarily bad, unless I do. I don't think any of them are like bad, bad, looking at them. I think they're all three, four star books. Um, that I just, I don't, would, don't want to hold on to them anymore. I think they would have a better home elsewhere. Um, I mostly just want to keep books that I super, super love. Or if I think I'm going to reread them. Um, which is not the case for many of these. So, now we can jump right into it. Okay, lighting probably just drastically changed, but... It's for the best is what we had to do. Um, the first book I actually talked about in my summer TBR book or video, dummy. Um, and that is the uh, Golden Boys by Phil Stamper. This one, I'm not gonna talk about what every single book is about, but I will give my reasonings for why I'll get rid of them. Um, this one is following four boys um, during a summer. They're all friends. They all go to a different city for that summer. Um, I got, I think maybe a quarter into this and I could not tell a single person apart from each other. So I said, you know what? This book isn't serving me. I know it's not gonna be a five star. It's probably gonna be a three. I think it's time to move on and have someone else have its moment. You know, another book that I also talked about in my summer TBR video, which I did read, um, I think last month. It was in my wrap-up video. Out of the Blue by Jason June. This was a cute four-star read um, romance with a non-binary merfolk character and uh, fat representation from the love interest. I just didn't super... It was fine. It was like three and a half, four stars. I don't even know what I rated it. Um, I just don't want to hold on to it anymore. So that's that. Another one, this one might be controversial. Um, I haven't talked about this on my channel at all, but I, I love Evelyn Hugo. I love Daisy Jones. I don't love Carrie Soto that much. Sorry, I said it. Okay, I just, she's not, she wasn't a super likable character. She was very strong-willed and confident and sometimes even arrogant, whatever. I just don't think, I don't think I'm gonna reread this um, compared to some of her other books that I am holding on to. So that's my reasoning for this girly. Don't hate me for it. I know some people either really liked that book or like didn't like it at all. I think it was okay. I think I gave it four stars. Um, moving on to another book that I have talked about here on the channel is I think it is Me Moth. Yeah, Me Moth um, by Amber McBride. This is a story written in verse following a girl as she is dealing with like the grief and aftermath of her family dying in a car crash. I just know that I'm not going to come back to it. I didn't super love it when I did read it. So she served her purpose. Thank you. Goodbye. The next book I have here um, is a very interesting one. I have also talked about before, A Touch of Jen by Beth Morgan. This is like a very weird speculative fiction. It, I think it's categorized as horror, but it's not really horror until the last like five, 10% even. 
Um, I just don't, I know I'm not going to reread this. Uh, the cover is cutie. I don't, her crawling over the little internet box there. This one deals a lot with um, parasocial relationships. That's the word that I was looking for. A lot with parasocial relationships between this couple and this um, girl from social media that they are obsessed with. And things take a very interesting, weird turn. Weird is the best way to describe this. It was like a three star, maybe two and a half star when I read it. Not bad, just weird. Um, next, another, I think maybe divisive um, choice here, but I just don't, I just know I'm not going to reread it. Uh, Daisy Jones by, or Daisy Jones, oh my god, you dummy. Daisy Darker by Alice Feeney. I really liked this when I read it. I was in the category of I liked it. I just know that I am not going to reread it. Um, this, which, you know, you know, I don't really reread a lot of thrillers, so that's fine. But um, this one is very similar to, and then there were none. Um, this family is washed up on an island. Not an island, but like they own the island. Um, with their home, they got rich money. Oh, Pippa is playing with a squeak toy right now. Um, but they they get washed up in an island and they start dying. You know what else? Um, there is quite an interesting twist in this one, and I am surprisingly I did not see it coming. A lot of times I see weird stuff like that coming, but in this one I didn't, and I found it enjoyable. Okay. Up next, I have a romance that I have read very recently, um, Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I didn't super love her, okay? I I gave it a four star in the moment. Now it's probably more of like a three in my mind because I do not remember hardly anything. Um, I do remember this follows more of the, sis the main character and her sister's relationship than like her and the man's relationship. And I remember thinking this is more contemporary fiction than actual romance, which if I'm gonna pick up a romance, I'm picking it up for a reason, okay? So that's the reasoning for this one. Oops, oops, we are making a mess. Um, up next, we have one that I have talked about on the channel and then another one that I haven't talked about, but there are two for, um, the first one being Over the Woodward Wall by A. Deborah Baker, otherwise known as Seanan McGuire. And if I can pick it up here, Middle Game by Seanan McGuire. Um, I read this one when it came out and like, oh my god, I don't even know. When was that? 2019? 2020? I know I was in college when I read this. And then I saw it on Book Outlet and I thought, oh, you know what? That's probably the best deal I'm going to get on this book because I gave it a four and a half star. I, I really liked it. Since then, I have held on to this book. I have not thought once, oh, I want to reread that. So I do like the cover, but she is chunky. She's taking up a lot of space on the bookshelf, space that I could use other things for. Um, and then this one, I gave like two stars. Sorry, it took me, because I do remember this came out in 2020, I'm positive. And I, it took me three years to read it See how tiny that one is? Three years to read this bad boy. It should not have taken me that long, and I didn't even like it. So it probably explains why it took so long. Um, so if I'm going to get rid of one, I might as well get rid of the other one. Just because. Just because. Send them off together. Why not? Keeping up in the series category. This one I am a little... I'm kind of sad. I don't know. If, I don't know. I feel kind of bittersweet about this, but I, I, I'll just show. So it's the Shadow and Bone series. I have the other two right here. Um, Shadow and Bone, Siege and Storm, Ruin and Rising. Okay. I, I didn't really have a Grisha vs. Girly moment like everyone did back in the day. I read these in like 2020. Um, yeah, I think it was summer of 2020. And I thought they were okay. I think all of them got like three, maybe four stars. 
they're all in super nice condition and i don't know there's something about shadow and bone this one i really like the colors of it but that's not a reason to hold on to a book especially if i'm going to get rid of the other two i know i'm not going to reread this series um i have read six of crows you know i have all of her books i've read six of crows haven't read crooked kingdom yet i i do want to i do still want to get to it i think i would just need to reread uh, six of crows because I don't really remember anything that happened um, and then I do also have king of scars and rule of wolves I debated putting king of scars and rule of wolves in to this bo book unhaul but I think I'm st I still will give her one chance I'll give her one last chance um, even though it has been a few years we're gonna ignore that um, those are also taking up a lot of space so whenever the time comes if I haven't read them yet but these three I just know will go on and be in a better home with someone who loves them and will cherish them so there's those three um moving on to another one that I I am kind of sad to get rid of this one this book is probably the one of the longest I've had on my TBR physical TBR and that is Wild Beauty by um, Anna Marie Micklemore. Listen, I got this book after Kayla, you know the one, was obsessed with it. Talked it up so much. Um, okay, had to wait for the air conditioning to turn off. But um, where was I? So I haven't read any of Anne Marie Micklemore's books. Kayla is always talking them up. I bought this one I I even bought the um, Audible of it. I tried listening to it and I just can't. And it's so sad because this is one of my prettiest books. And it also has a signed card in it. But I just, I just know because I've given her so many tries. Um, and it's just not, she's just not for me. And that's kind of sad to say, but sometimes you need to break up with them, so. Alrighty, next I have a book that I have read in the past few months, but not sure if I talked about it here on booktube. Um, Horrid by Katrina Leno. I did actually like this one. I just know I'm not going to reread it. Um, I think for a YA horror, this was very good. It is following this girl as she, Pippa, is following this girl as she goes back to um her mom's like hometown or something something like that and she eats paper i remember that's a big big thing because there's like receipts on the cover cover is also super cute um with her hair on the back but i um i just know that i am not going to reread this one and she can be moving on to a better place the next book i have i did rate four stars i did really like it um, but once again, a book I am not going to be rereading is Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert. I personally like her adult romances, the um, Brown Sisters, more than this one. This one was fine. It was cute. I, once again, I just know that it could be going on to someone else who is absolutely going to love it. So, and it's also like in basically brand new condition. Most of my books are in super great condition because I listen to a lot of audiobooks and I don't annotate unless I'm like pretty sure it's gonna be a five star. Speaking of, I think that Carrie Soto book is actually annotated because I was expecting it to be super good and it was fine. But besides the point, um, the next one I know I have talked about on the channel, uh, A Death in Door County by Annalise Ryan or Annalise. Annalise Ryan. Um, this one, nice cozy mystery vibes. Um, I am gonna, I do want to read the second book. I just don't think I will buy the book, especially not the hardcover because this I'm sorry for the squeaking in the background. Um, I do want to read the second book. I just don't think I'll buy the hardcover because this was like $27, $27 for a hardcover mystery, cozy mystery book. That's absurd. We do not, we do not need to be doing that in this economy. I also don't know, like, no offense. I don't know why this book came out in a hardcover because I feel like all the other, like, books similar to the genre are soft paperbacks, but 
besides the point, um, I did like this one. This is, uh, the series is called a Monster Hunter Mystery Series following a girl as the, some guy like goes missing in this town and she is like a, I forgot what the name of her, a cryptozoologist. Um, she gets asked to investigate the missing person's case. I don't remember if they know he's dead or not, but either way, I think it was a four star when I read it. It was pretty good. I just don't need it taking up space on my shelves. Another one that I just, I just know that if I am going to reread it, I would listen to the audiobook anyway. And it takes up a good chunk on my shelves that I don't, I could be using for other things. Broken by Jenny Lawson. Well, broken in the best way possible. Oh, in the best possible way. Jeez Louise. Um, by Jenny Lawson. This is like a comedic memoir nonfiction. Um, she has a couple other books. I would highly recommend all of them. I think I've read, I think I've read all of them. Um, yeah. And I just like the way that she talks about her mental health and, you know, how other people, how she, you know, her anxieties. We'll leave it at that. Next one is The Dead in the Dark by Courtney Gould. Talked about this in my June wrap up, I believe. Um, it was an okay book. It was like a three star paranormal YA slow burn romance. Um, sapphic romance. Cool. There's not a ton of that, by the way, so don't get your hopes up too much. But this was just an okay read. I don't really see a need to hold on to her when someone else might like her a lot more than I did. So I was a little hesitant on when I bought anyway, but I had read A Taste of Magic, I think is the name of the book by JL, um, which is a middle grade and I gave it five stars. I thought it was super good, super well written. Um, and then when I found out that JL had written Wings of Ebony, which is a YA fantasy, I thought, oh, I, you know, I really liked her middle grade. Why don't I give the YA a chance? Because YA fantasy isn't really my thing. I just don't super care. If I'm going to read a fantasy, I honestly prefer middle grade because it doesn't make me feel stupid. And also usually they're not that long. Whereas like adult fantasy, don't get me started on her. Um, so this I did read a good chunk. I think either like a third, maybe even half of it. And I just found myself not caring. And I thought, you know what, this is a big book. I, If you don't care about it anyway, move on to something you think is going to be a five star. That's my take on all of these books. So I'm trying to DNF more. I'm not the greatest at it yet, but this was a DNF and now a goodbye. So um, speaking of YA fantasy. This one I am disappointed to get rid of because let's see, it normally is $19, which is fine. Like I could buy it if I wanted to. Um, it's also in like perfect condition and I found it at Goodwill. How weird. It's also a Barnes and Noble exclusive special edition, children of blood and bone. The thing is, like I said, one, don't super like YA fantasy. Two, look how big it is. That's a big point against that. That's a big point. I don't, I'm not a big book girly. No, but also look at the map on the inside cover. She's cute. She's cute. Oh, oh, you know, you could tell that I have not opened this book. Oh, that's so cute in the back. <laughs> There is a behind the scenes where she um, like annotated, the, the, the author annotated the back there. That is super cute. And there's also, what is this, a poster? I'm assuming that's like a map or a poster. I'm not gonna open that because I'm probably, I'm gonna probably sell these on um, Pango Books. So whoever ends up buying this from me, they can have it and they can enjoy opening it. But there's her. This is saving up a lot of room on my TBR cart now, let me tell you that much. 
this last book that I have here, I was super excited about. It was a five-star prediction because I had heard it uh, was compared very heavily to the house in the Cerulean Sea, which I gave five stars. With that being said, some of you probably know what book it is already. Um, it is the Very Secret Society of Irregular Witches by Sangu Mandana. I thought it was okay. I'm so sorry. I didn't super care about this while I was reading it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> See, I feel like because I was under the impression it was going to be a five-star book for me, I felt really bad about my rating because I don't think it's a bad book. I just don't think it was what I was expecting. I think maybe I was expecting too much. Sorry for that. Um, it was a cute, fine book all I have to say about that this did sit on my shelf for quite a bit after the fact because I was like oh you know what I liked it it was cute I'll keep it I it was fine okay it was like a three four star book sorry so there you have it there is all the books at least for now that I'll be getting rid of I'm sure in like two months I'll have another big stack of books hopefully not hopefully I like read books that I actually like and want to keep um but yeah there's those I will be posting them on my pingo books and hopefully people buy them and then I can buy more books so it's the circle of life um thank you for watching this video I hope you enjoyed comment down below um leave a like if you want and subscribe if you want so Thank you for watching. Over and out.